John Lipsky, welcome. Uh, you're a former, uh, very senior person at the IMF and you're a distinguished economist. You've just been on a panel in which one of your fellow panelists accused, um, in a sense, the economy of being held hostage by leaders who are actually followers rather than leaders. Yes. What does that mean for um, the future of global finance? Well, first of all, there's certainly been a tendency in recent years for governments to uh, claim competence over the performance of their economies, uh, even though the role of private sector and private finance, in fact, has grown uh, relative to the overall economy. So the challenge is really a difficult one of making policies coherent and consistent not only domestically but internationally if they're going to succeed, but they're being held uh, accountable for things that in practice their influence is only, over things that their influence is only marginal. So it's, it is a challenge uh, and I think what was, being, what was being said was that in response the, the political leaders slash followers uh, tend to focus on what they think is going to produce a very quick response. In time, in time for the next election. Well, even the next news cycle. Uh, but in fact, uh, one would presume that uh, the truth will out uh, in the end, and one would hope that uh, leaders that are in fact leading in a direction that is fruitful well, will be rewarded. Then, uh, why did the U.S waste political capital, if you like, by opposing uh, the, the formation of the Asian uh, Infrastructure Bank, the, Asian, uh, you know, the China-led bank. Well, there are a number of ways of viewing that, but uh, I, I wonder if the, you know, what was one of the driving considerations was the fear that under no circumstances could U.S. membership be approved by the current U.S. Congress and therefore a decision was made rather than to uh, say we're for it but the Congress won't let so us. So yet, yet again the leaders are hostage to short-term politics. I fear that might have been a, the case. It certainly was not the U.S. administration's or the government's finest hour, was it? Uh, indeed. Well, a final point. I mean, how do you find the WPC? What role can it play in resolving these issues? Oh, resolving is a big, that's, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big uh, uh, chunk, but the, uh, in contributing to the dialogue, that's a very, it's very useful. Uh, for example, for me, this is, I, hear, I come here very happy because I know I'm going to hear different voices than, is, than I hear typically at home, hear uh, various views represented from uh, all over the world. Uh, from folks who have both a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience. That's, that's always very useful. John Lipsky, thank you so much. Thank you.